Hi, welcome to another episode by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're going to test wishbone beads. This was the one we saw previously. We tried to break several and uh, this one seemed to be the strongest. We've now jigged up the brake test machine so we can pull equally from both sides. If you remember the previous episode, the knots broke mostly and not the beads. Now we're going to see exactly how strong that dynamo is inside your rubber when loaded. I'm sure this will be way in excess of what's needed, but uh, here we go. On the machine we have two forks. They've since been reinforced previously, they did flex a bit. We should be getting a higher load than before. So they're set up there now, showing one kilo, slight tension. We're going to apply force to this and see how high we get it. I'm going to cover my eyes here because if these things get airborne, they can hurt and or take an eye out. We're ready in excess of what's required. a lot less than it should have. That glue is not good. So back to the drawing board. Okay. That was 110. <laughs> uh, well, that was 110. I expected that one to go a lot higher. Well, back to the drawing board again. Hi, as you can see, different t-shirt, different day. That clip you just saw was a previous setup we'd done. The bonding solution turned out to be not the correct one. So today we're going to try what I feel is the correct one and let's see how it goes. On a conventional gun, we pull about 60 kilos with a 16 mil rubber. If you're halving it or pulling the two together there, it's actually 30 a side. So we need to be in excess of 30 kgs. I want to be a lot more than that to make sure this is strong enough. Let's see how it goes. Today I'm going to wear safety glasses. As you saw in the previous one, one of those bees got quite airborne. Same setup, two forks. Let's see where it goes. Covering my eyes. Just started to slip there, and there she shot. <laughs> well, there you have it. That went to 134, more than good enough. Watch this space. <laughs> 